Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a little uh, calibration standard. You might have seen me using uh, one of these. This is a, a voltage uh, reference and it has been calibrated. At least I make you believe I did that, but I, I, I think it is. And this one is to calibrate your voltage. So uh, voltage auto. So this is great for if you're repairing a multimeter and you just uh, need to calibrate it because this is a very precise uh, one and I've, I've shown them many times in my uh, videos and as you see this one says 2.49894 and it's not exactly 2.5 but it is okay because that is exactly what it says on the sticker. So this is to calibrate your voltage in the five, in the seven and a half, and it's probably more precise if the meter is switched on uh, a little bit longer than what I do now. But I want to show you, I now also have an LCR standard. So this one, can do, uh, let me, yeah. This one can do resistance, a coil, and a capacitor. Yeah, and it actually came in this uh, kind of balloon. So it was very well protected, of course, they had this garbage bag. And uh, then inside, it was in the anti static, well closed, so watertight. And there it was. So uh, I would say five out of five points for picking this time. And it looks like, or again, they make us believe that it also has been calibrated. And this one has been calibrated with uh, a Fluke PM6306 or um, and uh, resistance, they also test not only with the Philips, but also with the Nagelant. So, uh, well, we can easily check the resistance and it should be, well, about 180K, but it was 179.94 on the Fluke and it was 179.991 on the Agilent. So if we get around uh, just below 180 and then I need to select, if you want to do the capacitor, you need to do the black one for the resistance, the yellow and for the coil, the red one. So this is nice if I uh, want to calibrate uh, that. So then I need to go to the ohms automatic. And indeed, it is a little bit below the 180. So that could actually be correct. Well, let's see what this one thinks. It thinks more or less the same. It is uh, just below 180. And what does my Owen think? That one probably need to heat a little bit more. It is actually a little bit, uh, bit high. Oh, yeah. It's already trying to stabilize a bit more. Yeah, now you can see it's dropping. So it, it, it could be right. And for the, if I want to check the, the coil, then we need to use the LCR meter. So let's have a look at that. So maybe you've seen in my other reviews, the LCR meter. It is from the Victor company, or uh, it's now called uh, Roshui. And uh, I think it's the same as the East tester. Uh, so it should be more or less okay. 
I see here that I tested on uh, 10 kilohertz. So let's do that also to 4, 8, 10. So if you test on 10K, that's what I did, I should have more or less the same value. So first I will uh, put it in the L. Put my Kelvins, but they are just if I. And it says it is 866.7 micron only. And it says here it should be 868.9. So it could be a little bit off, or this could be a little bit off. But if they did indeed do this with the uh, Edgeland, then uh, oh, they did this with the Philips then it should be okay. And uh, what about the capacitor? Fifty point seven four nanos. Fifty point seven three five. That is not too far off. What is that? Fifty-seven four, and it says here fifty-seven three five. It is now <laughs> it is low. So uh, you have a reasonable idea. And what about my resistance? Yeah, this one is also a little bit high. It also says 180.5 almost. And uh, Owen said also 180.1. But uh, the Kitleys were both uh, below. So, yeah. Yes, and I almost forgot, but I also have here an HP uh, 3478A. And it can do a two wire measurement and a four wire measurement. And I also had uh, Kelvins for this one with bananas. So I'm also adding these to the values. I was looking at the numbers and uh, I thought my, it, it, it didn't seem that, uh, that precise. But now I actually want to see uh, how much in uh, percentage that is, just, just to be sure, because even though it feels a little bit off, maybe it's not even that bad. So uh, it seemed it was uh, not that pre precise if you uh, look at the, at the numbers on the display, but uh, I started calculating and I will put the, the, the sheet later also for download if you if you think it's interesting. But the biggest uh, difference I had with, uh, with the Victor LCR meter, uh, because uh, it measured 180, uh, 450, and the, and this one was 479,995, uh, <laughs> but it turned out it's only 0.28%, and that's the highest difference I found. But in that sense, it's it's quite um, uh, stable over <laughs> the R and the L and the Cs, because I also had 0.28% on the on the coil, and I also on the capacitor I also had. Uh, at point, uh, no, there I had less, I had a point zero three. So, so uh, in the end, it, it looks there were a lot of difference, but I checked with, um, with the 177, it was, uh, and that's only talking about resistance now, uh, that was uh, point zero 0.05, this was point zero 0.01, and the O one was uh, the biggest difference uh, with uh, 0.13. So it's all be below half a percent. So <laughs> it is actually quite nice. So uh, I will put the, the links um, uh, down in my video because I think this is a very nice addition uh, yeah, to your calibration stuff. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.